What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video, man. Look, we are finally back on the Silverado build, man. So enough talking. Let's get right to the action. It's actually Halloween today, man. So happy Halloween to everybody before anything. Um, and I actually have to take the kids trick-or-treating, so we're going to only be able to work just a little bit today, but we're going to get started. The plan for today is to build the side pieces, get those guys going so it can start to look like something. So before all that, I actually have to find the center of the bottom board. And then we'll just find the center of the mid base box so we can line that up so we can have the proper space because you see it's like a little bit, you know, more wider than over here. And I want to be able to at least put like a lip behind the panel pieces so we can screw those down. Uh, same with here. So everything gets mounted properly um, and it sits center, man, because we need everything to be dead on. All right, so I started cutting some wood out and everything, but this, I was actually gonna bring this out to the edge, but I think I'm just gonna bring it out to this point right here and chop this off uh, just to give my tweeters and my um, horns breathing room because the last thing I want is to put the tailgate up. And if I do do a panel on this guy, I don't really want it to rub up against here and scuff up the vinyl in here from the magnet, from the frames, from the faces of the tweeter and the horn. Um, just so don't scuff it up and make things look ugly. So we're just going to go ahead and just chop that section off real quick. Slide it back in there and we can start laying pieces in. Okay, so I had to make adjustments to cutting uh, well, the side panels and this floorboard because like I said, I didn't want it to interfere with if I ever build a panel right here. Uh, but I made the little side pieces that mount the side um, baffles for the stunt wall right here one of them I had I did had to cut it out because the um, tub was right there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pre-drill some holes so when we mount it down it's like secured you know what I'm saying it don't wobble or Okay, so the side pieces are in. We have our mounts that we built down. We put new screws in there because they were off by a little bit because that lip's very small, but we put one in screws in here. And I went ahead and did some uh, side mounts as well too that grab from behind the speaker so you'll never see those screws inside of our inner chamber. So next on the list, we are just gonna go ahead and make these side panels right here and then they're gonna get stapled on to this piece of wood. So basically I want this side just to be all complete one side. Uh, same thing with over here um, and then after that we can just make our tops and i think that's going to be pretty much it for today we just need the skeleton of it done because we do have to make router pieces to make the speakers uh, pop out 3d i just don't want to cut holes and sit them in there it's going to look plain uh, and that's not what i want This is what we got so far. I got the side pieces in, the front face pieces in, as you can see, same thing as well right there. Uh, so now all that's left to do is the top pieces. Uh, but they are, they're not gonna get like fully, you know, cut out the way the hell they're supposed to be because they're actually gonna get a lid on top so I can wrap these pieces all as one. And then we get the lid that once we do our cutouts for our speakers on the side, uh, we can mount that lid 
from the inside to sem to pull it down so you never see no screws. The main thing is not to see no screws nowhere. You see what I'm saying? That's that's the goal, and I think we're going to achieve it. That I'm still brainstorming whether to put the amps right here in this position or on top of the box. I would like them right here because they would be seen a little bit, but if not, I looked at some plexiglass yesterday that we can do a big cutout, um, raise it up like 3D with a nice router edge on it, um, chamfer, and then, you know, we'd put the plexiglass underneath it, light it up, and then go ahead and do like the YouTube name on it or something. I, I don't know yet. We'll see what happens, but we're going forward with it, man. I'm, this is coming out really badass. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. All right, gang, so listen, man, I got the first part of the bed done, man. We're going to go ahead and check it out right now, man, but definitely hit that like and hit that subscribe button, man, because we're finally back on the Silverado. Let's check it out. All right, so please don't mind like these pieces, you know, they're not stapled down. So they're obviously gonna teeter-totter. Same thing with over here. Um, they're not set in place, but you guys get the, the idea. Okay, so we built the side panels today. Uh, we have to do the cutouts for the horns and the tweeters, horns and tweeters. Um, then, like I said, tonight, I'm just gonna go ahead and make my decision to uh, go ahead and do the floor. Or just go ahead, you know, do a plexiglass floor or do amps right here. I don't know yet. We're going to decide that tonight. I'm going to go ahead and brainstorm. But so obviously we're going to get like 10, 10, 10. So like two 10 stacked, one 10, and then a tweeter right there. But I'm going to do like a raised 3D uh, router edge um, piece so it just doesn't look flat. Same thing with this. It's going to get another piece on top of it. I'm just going to get routed out to like make it look good. Um, and I may put a chamfer right here just to give it like an angle so it's not square. Or I could just round it out. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Then we put the lid. I got the bigger piece on top right there. That just sits in. So basically it's just going to be a top, two sides, maybe a drop down depending on what we do. And then a face for the mid base. Uh, I really think we can get this done by the end of the week. So then that week we can start, you know, um, electrical. Uh, start mounting stuff down and then after that we can wrap all the panels start loading speakers up and finally here this thing guys man we've came a long way if you guys have been watching the build man you can you know what we've gone through and i can't even imagine what we're going to go through because that's electronics real life uh, and i'm going to go ahead and show you everything what goes down with this build let me know in the comments what you guys think of it so far you know it's it's coming out pretty good i like it um, once we actually give it a little bit of life with the raised um, MDF wood uh, and the router edges, it's really going to look like a whole another truck back here, man. I'm excited. I can't wait. I'm sure you guys are excited and man, it's going to be badass. So drop down in the comments, hit that like button, let me know and subscribe to the channel because this build's only going to keep getting better as we keep going. So that's pretty much it for today because man, I have to get ready. I have to go pick up the kids from school. I got to make sure that they got all the Halloween stuff and we're going to go trick or treating. Uh, check your candy before you give it to your kids. I hope you guys have a good time, man. It is, it is Halloween, man. We're going to go out here and get this candy and eat, but don't overeat, man, because it makes us sick. I'm not trying to be sick because I got to finish this truck. But happy, happy Halloween. Take them kids out, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.